Ah, welcome back. So the hardest part of any video is always figuring out uh, how to start it. And I don't know. I am just going to get right into this. And Diamond Sword, hell yeah. So there is something on my mind, something I want to do today, something that will help out the world. I don't want to say necessarily the city of Nimbus, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll help out a bit for them, maybe. I don't know, if I get a bunch of enchanted gear, then wouldn't that mean that I'd be able to become a better defender? I would think so. Um, so, aw, oh, dang it, I forgot the redstone. So, today, I want to begin building blaze farms in the nether. So, you know how we found those dual blaze spawners, I don't freaking know, a long time ago? Well, it's finally time, is that really all I've got? 25? Okay, that'll just have to do for, for the time being. I'll just deal. Um, so today, I want to go to the nether and, you know, kick some blaze butt. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds about right. So, all of my gear is about to break. All my, I already went through my helmet, so I put on a golden helmet that I got from a zombie pigman, I believe. But now it's about to break too. So, whenever we go back to the nether, I don't feel like dying a lot. So, ooh, yeah, that'll be fine. And bam, now we've got pants, boots, and a helmet. Okay. So, from here, I think that's all of the materials that I wanted. I've got my two buckets of lava. I've got a full suit of armor for replacement. I've got a diamond sword. Uh, I don't really need slime balls anymore. I've got such an unlimited supply. It's not even funny. So, I will see you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've forgotten. Ah, there's so much stuff. Oh, oh hey, well, I guess I can talk really quick about something else while, uh, while I make a quick trip there. Um, we're going to wait on the boat farm. I've had a lot of awesome missions awesome submissions from a lot of different people um, I really appreciate your guys's feedback I can't go express that enough like you guys are freaking awesome I'm sitting here talking with my hands when I really should be having my hands on the keyboard so that way I don't die but that besides the point oh, I did grab arrows yes okay Ugh, I forgot about all this slow sand it's been so long since we've been here oh my goodness um, so we're going to wait on the boat dock until 1.3 because I do want to take advantage of the pistons. You know what? Bam. Return to sender. This is not... He keeps dodging. Okay, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. This guy's a jerk. I'm about done with this. Okay, whatever. No! Oop, I just hit it with my arrow. <sighs> Quit blowing up my world! I don't like it. My OCD will bother me. Ah, oh, he's like evasive maneuvering. There we go. I got him. I got him. This is it. Bam. And now that's all destroyed. Okay, what is that? Oh, that's a pigment. Ah, <sighs> what a jerk, what a jerk, what a jerk. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna wait until 1.3 comes out. Remember putting all of these up? Uh, 1.3 comes out, so that way we can take advantage... Oh, look, there's this experience. Take advantage of the dispensers, uh, dispensing boats. So that way we can have, like, a really cool, like, you push a button, the boat dock does something awesome looking, and then from there... After it does... Oh, God. Did he just really spawn? He just got shot in the butt by his buddy. Oh, man. Come here, Ghast. You should die in one day. Nope. Haha. -ha. Alrighty. So, we just arrived at the Blaze Farm. And there are a ton of zombie pigmen in the way. Um, Make sure that I'm not going to be swarmed by any more. When I go to kill them, because I do believe that they will hamper the spawn rates of my blades. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys real quick. Oh, I love my diamond sword. 
Okay. And last but not least. Yeah, and I've already started killing some of the blaze as you can see here. So, uh, I was watching a couple videos on how to go about this, how to do this, the best way to turn a blaze spawner into a blaze farm, and this is not going to be easy, I'll tell you that much. Um, so, essentially what we've got to do is just like Hulk mode. We've got to go and beat the crap out of everything. So, without further ado, let me see if I can figure out we'll do that. Now, kill this guy, and we're going for it. Sha, 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 sha. Oh, oh. Oh, snap. Ow. The videos I was watching was like, spam torches. That way you can lock down their spawning area. Because they do slow down in torches, but they don't stop completely. So, that's why I came with a full stack of torches, and I... No. Just no. No more spawning. Oh, get dodged. All three, baby. Alright, so... Another one's about to spawn. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I just fell. That was not good. Ah, okay, whatever. I got it. So I'm going to finish doing this. I'm sure it's just going to be a long rinse and repeat, repeat process of what, what we're doing right now. Just clear a couple blocks. Place a torch. Clear a couple blocks. Place a torch. Kill a blaze. Kill a... That, that sounds like a song. Like, destroy a couple blocks. Place a blaze. Place a blaze. Oh, God. He spawned right when I was looking at him. I can't be too angry. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty, guys. So, whenever I was on my way back to get some more supplies, I ran out of torches. I had to get more of those, and my pickaxe was getting low, so I was going to craft another. I kind of got to thinking about, you know, what I want to build my dual blaze spawner out of. So, uh, after much thought and deliberation, I have decided I want to build it out of sandstone, which I know is not the most uh, cheap material, but I think it will look really cool. So, before I head back to the... Uh, to the blaze spawner. By the way, I really should talk about why I want to build a blaze spawner. I need an XP farm, so that way I can get more experience whenever I want. Look, I'm at 47, and I've been in the 40s for like three weeks now, and it's just frustrating me. It's so mind-bogglingly -bogg upset upsetting. I can't even talk. That's how upsetting it is. So, I want to build an XP farm. Blaze is what we have the most convenient access to. I really don't want to, I don't know, waste my time with a dark room spawner. And, uh, God, I know there's a desert around here. The hell? Come on, video game. Um, so I want to build an XP farm. There it is. So that way... Uh, we can just start spamming enchants and all sorts, and I've got that dual blaze spawner right there, and it, it, it'll be awesome. We get it set up, we get it working, and voila, we've got dual blazes just feeding us experience. So, that's what I'm going to work on now. I'm going to harvest me an inventory full of sand and go from there. So, uh, I like how I say I'll see you guys in a bit, or in a minute, but... With with the miracles of editing, I will cut out that minute and it will be a second for you guys. So I'll see you in one second. Okay. <laughs> that just feels weird. Okay, bye. Alrighty, so we finished clearing out a huge chunk of this desert. I filled up most of my inventory with sandstone. Man, miracles of editing. Don't you just love it? Before, that was like... 30, 45 minutes ago, and now, yeah. So remember that brand new diamond shovel we got? Well, take a look at it now. It's almost dead. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so, see you at the base. So we're back in the nether, almost to the blaze spawner yet again. 
and I just wanted to check in with you guys. I've got a ton of sandstone now. I made a bunch of more bread. I'm decked on materials. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And I just killed two little magma cube things, so now I am level 48. We are so very close to hitting level 50. That's what I want to do. I want to hit level 50 and then get my enchant. Oh no, there's a blaze. Uh, but that's kind of the goal here. Like I said earlier, like I want to be able to... this. Honestly, this will be my first legit 50. And I can't tell you how excited I am for that. And yeah. So, and, and you know what? I'm going to be able to do it on camera too. I'll have proof. I have proof. I'll have you guys. You guys will be able to say, yeah, I remember the first time he hit level 50. Who's hey, ye? And then it would be awesome. So, that's, yeah, that's kind of my goal. Um, I've always, I've played Minecraft a lot. I've always liked the more, like, technical aspects of it, but I never really got into, like, the, the, the survival mode. And that's what this is. That's what we're doing. That's what, ow! He shot me in the butt. Didn't you, didn't your mother teach you it's not nice to hit people in the butt? Good God. But, huh, it but, anyways, um, <laughs> no, so, I, I, this is just my first time, like, actually blowing all the way through survival. Like, I've played survival before, of course, but, uh, this is gonna be my first time dominating survival. I guess. And there's another blaze. Well, I'm just gonna fish one. I'm doing blaze. Don't you attack me. Thanks. You listen. What a nice blaze. I almost feel bad for killing him. Oh, goodness gracious. So, from here, I believe... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, I dodged all three. What you gonna do? Who you gonna call? Not Ghostbusters, because they bust you. You're like a ghost stick thing. I don't know. Okay, so now from here, um, I can't remember. Ah, now I remember. Now I need to work on clearing the torches in a 2x8 thing around this to prevent them from spawning. And so we're going to start out. Here is... So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So right now... To begin, you need to make a 7x7 seven seven square around the uh, the starting point, the spawner. So I've got the... Here's 1, 2, 3 on this side, and then another 1, 2, 3 on the other side. We'll put a total of 7 blocks. Ow! Quit it! I'm trying to prevent your brothers from spawning. So then, again, 1, 2, 3 here. And then one, two, three on the other side will give us a square of seven by seven. So now I need to fill this in quickly before they continue spawning. Ha. And now once I can get this filled in, I'll come back in just a second once I finish this. All right, so I just finished up with that. There's a seven by seven. Now here's the thing. They actually spawn in an eight by two area. So from here, we need to figure out where the uh, the direction it needs to be extended. And the thing I was reading, the wiki about it, said that if you open up your F3 screen and then pay attention to your X and Z coordinates, that's your uh, X and Z uh, coordinates, when they are both moving downwards, uh, that's the corner you need to fill in. So I'm at 354 and 150. Well, that would be upwards, technically, so... I believe it's this corner, then. Ah, so confusing! Negatives, positives, I don't know! Because moving down in a negative would mean the number gets bigger, so... Yeah, and that backwards, 353 to 354. Yeah, so this is the side we need to fill in, I believe. I just, I want to verify that. I want to double check it. So Blaze, try to spawn, please. I don't think one's going to try to spawn. I don't want to build it and then be wrong. Okay, there's one other thing. Another way of checking. Uh, let me go get some glowstone. I'll be right back. Alright, now I'm back with a couple of blocks of 
glowstone and we're gonna take a look here this is another way I learned this is kind of like a tutorial episode a little bit um, of which way you are supposed to extend it so there is a dang I can't get up on it ah blasphemous okay so when you place the glowstone it's the side with the biggest little uh, crystal right here so that right there and I think I think I already heard one spawn. So, yep, I'd be right. Because it would be... The crystal would be pointing... Ah, yeah. Ow. Dang. Man, he must have been ready. See, because this crystal is pointing... That that largest crystal right there is pointed in that direction. So that's, that's the way that you know, we need to extend it. So... This will give us our 8x8, eight eight, and now we can begin construction on our <sighs> mob spawner. Alright, so I finished off turning it into the giant 2x8, and then I have also cleared out the room below it, and now I'm going to go do the exact same thing to the other side, because we do have this dual spawner. So, I'm gonna go rinse, repeat everything that I just did on this side. Woohoo! Ah! I'm so close to 50, but I'm also so close to dying. They keep spawning as I uh, try to finish this off. Although, that last block right there, that should be the end of it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This is gonna turn into... I mean, I'm only... This is only just stopping the spawning. Blaze are so hard to deal with. Uh... I think I think I'm just gonna push for 50. I, you know, of course, finish clearing this out. But then I'm gonna push for 50. Then we're gonna go back to the base, enchant a pickaxe, a diamond pickaxe with a level 50 enchant, and see what we get. So, because of how close we are, I mean, we'll we'll just we'll make this like a part two thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we'll do. It like a to be continued. But I I'll try to get it out as quick as possible. Hopefully, it won't have to wait until next week. But I mean. Stuff happens like, ooh, this is just kind of random. We'll talk about this another time. I was in a car crash yesterday. That was that was a ton of fun. We were heading straight on an intersection. We had a green light, and some guys just like, ah, I'm gonna make a left turn right now, and we're like, uh, we're kind of driving here, and he's like, nah, I can make a left turn through you guys. I'm like a ghost, but uh, no, that did not work, and then he crashed right into the side of us. And at least the officer was cool about it. He flat out admitted that the other dude was in the wrong. So, I mean, uh, we, thankfully, it was that we were driving like a, uh, a Hummer-esque vehicle. I mean, just a giant one of those Jeep knockoff things. Just giant behemoth of a vehicle. So, we were alright. His car, we like the bumper fell off and like the front end was a little messed up. Uh, but his car was totaled. But anyways, so barring any acts of God as they are called, um, I will try to get out this video, uh, the part two, quicker. Uh, so let's go ahead and push for 50. Come on. Come on. I also made a couple of chests here, just to bank all my stuff in, basically. All this extras and whatnot. Make another spawn. Yeehaw! <gasps> Level 50! Alrighty, let's fill this back in. Uh-oh, I feel like I have to sneeze. <laughs> Damn. I'll... Okay, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what to do. Should I? I tried to mute my mic, but then I couldn't make it, and it's like, do I stop recording? Ah! Anyways, so now that that's filled back in, that'll stop the blaze from spawning. Um, and I will base time. Let's go get our enchanting table set up. All right, so here we are. We're inside the castle. This is the room I had set aside as my enchanting room. I went ahead and made 23 bookshelves, but I think if I counted right, I only need 20. Um, just kind of as a note, this room is a little lopsided. I think I'm going to go back and see. Look at that. There's five, and I've got two spare over here and only one on this side. But I will come back at a later time and 
or off camera, doesn't really matter. Just whenever. And yeah, of course I didn't grab my enchanting table. So there's the enchanting table placeholder. Ah, maybe I did my math wrong because I need a lot more bookshelves. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, those went by a lot quicker than expected. You know, there's one, two, blah, blah, blah. So then there's four. So then, yep, I'll need one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. So I need seven more. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Oh, God, that scared me. Get out of here, Enderman. This is my enchanting room. Be gone with you. Um, so I grabbed a couple more just in case. And, yep, seven was the correct amount. So, and I also grabbed my enchanting table. <sighs> I would do that. And whatever, I don't have... Ah, <sighs> sigh. Let's go ahead. And we'll put a couple torches in here. Now, eventually, what I want to come back and do is make it so that way each one of these columns of bookshelves can go up and down. Where did I put it? I'll just make it dang it I'm so underprepared um, make it so that way each of the bookshelves can go up and down so that way if I need like a level 20 enchant boom I can pull a couple of bookcases out of the way and now I've got a level 20 enchant oh now I need a 35 bam diamond pickaxe now then I can you know toggle a couple buttons and get that Okay, here we go. Diamond pickaxe, level 50 enchant. I'm going to go for it. I'll see you guys as soon as I get one with 50. Alright, so here we go. We finally got it. Our level 50 enchant on our diamond pickaxe that we got. We got it today. Hell yeah. So let's see what we got. Please be amazing. Oh, I'm unbreaking three. Not even in... I have the worst luck with enchants. The worst... The worst. That's a crap pickaxe. This is, oh, oh, but get out of here. I don't want you. I don't want you. I'm going to leave you there to rot. No, I'm sorry. I'll take you back. I'll take you back. All right. Well, uh, that's a bummer. But, hey, it is what it is. It's kind of what enchanting is. Time to go get another 50 levels and try again. Well, uh, that's going to be all for today, guys. Like I said, I will try to get another part two of the Blaze Farm. ASAP, and I'll see you soon. Peace.